Yo, in today's video, I'm talking about a brand that I've heard lots about recently, Comica Audio. They've sent me their new set of wireless microphones that include four transmitters. I'm wearing one now, and this is what you'll be listening to throughout the rest of the video. Down below, I've left different timestamps should you wish to hop around and listen to a particular topic that I'll be discussing in today's video. All right, let's take a look. In the case, you get the following items. One receiver, four transmitters, four dead cats, one TRS cable, one TRRS cable, and one two-in-one USB cable that you can use to charge a Vimo Q. Let's talk about charging. Firstly and most importantly, the case serves as the charging unit itself. When you drop these in, they magnetize and automatically begin charging. The case has four LED lights that show you the battery level. Each one of those lights represents 25% of power. The next great thing is that you can charge and use these simultaneously, which isn't something you get with every different brand or product, so that's a huge plus. Each transmitter has up to eight hours of battery life. Paired with the charging case, you can get up to 16 hours of battery life. For the transmitters, you can charge them individually via USB-C, or of course, by just dropping them into the case. The transmitters have three buttons on them, and each button has two functions. Power mute, long press for on and off, short press for muting the mic. The lighter is red when it's muted and blue when it isn't. Volume down slash link button, short press for turning the volume down, log press to enter pairing mode. And volume up, short press for turning up the volume, log press to activate one key denoise. The light goes from blue to green when key denoise is activated. All right, I'm gonna step outside, I'm gonna test and show you how well this feature works. As you can see, I'm at a very busy intersection with lots of moving cars around me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and you let me know how well I sound. Okay, this is with the feature turned on. You're still moving cars. Guy hasn't done his brakes in a while. Also, I should note that this device allows you to record up to 200 meters away, which is just mind boggling. Because if my math is right, that's like 600 feet, which is absurd. Wait. Anyway, let's go back inside. The receiver has two buttons and each has two functions as well. On and off button, long press for on and off, short press to switch recording modes. Mono, stereo, or quad. Pairing orientation button, long press to pair, short press to flip orientation. The receiver has two 3.5 millimeter outputs. The bottom output connects to your camera to capture audio, and the other one is for your headphones to monitor your audio. Check, check. Now that's if you're recording mono, of course, where all mics are recorded into one track straight into the camera. One and done. When using stereo mode, you're able to capture mics one and two as one track and using the left channel and mics three and four as a separate track using the right channel. However, if you wanted to record each mic as a separate track, you need to be using quad mode. For that, you need either an external device where you can connect the second 3.5 millimeter into or have a camera that allows you to record up to four different tracks. Unfortunately, I don't have either or, or I would show you that. These are really small, lightweight, and just compact as a unit, which I really, really like. However, I hope that doesn't mean that they're too delicate because of course I, I need them to be able to keep up. It would also be cool if I could magnetize this behind my t-shirt or my jacket so that I can hide it and not have to clip it onto my collar to be able to use it. But of course, whenever I'm using a microphone like this, I'm usually bringing a laugh mic like this and that's what ends up being clipped onto my jacket or my shirt, so that's not necessarily a deal breaker. Speaking of laugh mic, why don't we plug this one in and see what the sound difference is like? You be the judge and let me know down in the comments which you prefer. Mic test using the laugh mic plugged into the Comica transmitter. Let me know what you think. Now this next one is probably the most important and crucial in my opinion, and that's having an internal recording option. Unfortunately, we don't have that with the Vimo Q, and when you're working on larger budget productions, you don't wanna take any risks. You wanna have a backup plan to your backup plan, especially when it comes to your audio. I think that when Comica implements that into future iterations of this product, that's gonna make all the difference. Now, a thing that's mind-boggling to me is the price. For under 250 bucks, you're able to walk away with four wireless transmitters, a receiver, and a charging case. That's crazy. And lastly, can we talk about how good these look in whites? They're pretty sexy. And let's face it, we all have black mics already. Whenever I have to record a podcast, the mixer, the mic arms, the microphones, the XLR cables, extension cords, and you name it. With this, I'm clipping four microphones into four colors, hitting record, and I'm done. Another study where I think these are gonna be super beneficial is whenever you're recording BTS, you're recording yourself and other people in the room that are doing diverse tasks and you have clear audio 
for anyone that's partaking in the video. And then for people who shoot like documentary style stuff, who are often shooting on their own and they don't have a, you know, a sound guy, you can clip a mic on people real quick and then you're good to go. You're capturing whatever's happening with clean audio. I mean, there's just so many different ways, but you let me know in the comments down below how you would use it. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider giving it a like, leaving a comment, and of course, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd also love to have you join me on Instagram where I'm constantly unboxing and reviewing gear. Follow me and shoot me a message so that I can follow you back. I'm super keen on expanding my social media network and have one-on-one -on -one interactions with people that are like-minded, but also get super excited about tech and filmmaking gear. If that's you, let's connect. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Adiós.